another vlog honestly i didn't plan on um vlogging or starting the vlog until tomorrow but it is I'm trying to mute this tv <coughs> i am so sorry that's literally why i took the whole week off last week um <clears throat> me and Isla um, both had the flu last week and so um, we are a lot better than what we started but we're both coughing up our lungs um, but I just finished dinner and I tell you it was so so delicious I made um, salmon with garlic parmesan potatoes with the bang bang sauce the way i just killed that plate <laughs> it was good it was so 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 good i didn't have high hopes for it because like we're literally grocery wise i call it the struggle week we are i try and um close to the end of the month I try and use everything that I have before I get new stuff so this is like the fridge clean out so it's a lot of just random meals but that meal was really really good I did not expect it to be as good as it was um, and that is literally all I am doing today Isla is actually taking a nap <clears throat> Cause I know this TV is just loud. I can't find a remote. If I get my butt up, maybe I could, but I don't feel like getting up. But um, she's taking a nap, and it's really late for her nap. She's been sleeping kind of weird. Um, it is 4:11, so. She's usually getting ready for bed by this time, but um, not tonight. But anyways, that is literally all I am doing today. Um, I've been watching this show on Hulu called The Mask Singer, and I'm obsessed. So that is literally how I'm going to end my night with watching The Mask Singer. Here is the... <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Here is the weekly grocery haul. Got some um, pink skinless boneless salmon. I plan on making salmon patties sometime this week. Um, some baked beans. <coughs> sweet Hawaiian hot dog buns. This chip mix. Some green beans. Shredded lettuce. <coughs> tomato green bell pepper um milk for isla and i like to have cereal so this is for the cereal <clears throat> some shredded i mean shredded cheese sliced cheese some more butter these hot dogs uh my mom recommended these so i am going to try them <clears throat> Beef, smoked sausage, ground beef, which I'm about to use tonight. Olive oil, diced yellow onions, pico de gallo, I'm making tacos, and you gotta have pico de gallo. Bread crumbs, coleslaw, some potatoes, eggs, taco kit, these little go go squeeze for I love, some frosted flakes. And I usually don't drink sodas, but I feel like with um, tacos, you have to have something bubbly. So, definitely Sprite for the win. And that is the smallest grocery haul, but that's what we're going to do for this week.
natural disasters My baby has been around for me Kingdoms have fallen Angels be calling None of that could ever make me leave yeah. Every time I look into your eyes So this bag, I'm going to get something nicer in the future. But right now, what I've been doing is keeping 
all of Isla's first in here. Um, like this was her, um, as y'all know, her first <laughs> birthday outfit. This was her first Easter dress. This right here was her um, first bathing suit. And this is just like a little blanket that um, every time they turn a different month, you take that picture with this. So that's what that is. <clears throat> These two little um, pairs of pants are the very, very first uh, pair of clothing I ever bought for Isla. Um, this was before I knew her gender. So these are the very first pairs of clothing. Um, her very first pair of sneakers. And I also um, have her very first earrings over there. And what else? So I can't wait to actually watch this stockpile grow i gotta get something to put it in but right now i've just been i'm gonna just store it in this plastic bag um i still have her well um if i left that at my grandmother's house alone a couple of months ago so she probably threw that away but i had her very first pacifier that she ever got um the one that they give you at the hospital i had that but i probably don't have that anymore she probably had thrown that away but yeah, so I just thought these things are very sentimental. I'm trying not to hoard things, but like I got to keep all her first. So yeah, I just wanted to share that. That's what we have so far. And cleaning up with this little girl is a struggle. Every time I put something in a bag, she comes behind me and takes it out. I've put them dirty clothes in that bag three times now. And now she's taking all this stuff out. I can't clean up with her. She was supposed to get her hair washed today, but um, we're going to do that tomorrow, right? Okay. Yeah, we'll do it tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. for the vlog so I am just about to make like the easiest easiest dinner I could possibly think of um but it's really good so it's just a sheet pan with literally potato sausage and gravy Let's I don't have the energy for nothing else. So, I thought why not um, record that for my footage today. So, I'm just about to wash some of these potatoes off. Oh, we're going to have potatoes. You like potatoes?
already washed. <laughs> washed and ready to eat. Okay, but we're gonna still wash them. I need to invest in is some good quality knives because I know y'all see how I have to saw through these potatoes. Like, you should not have to do that. I don't know where what makes a good quality knife. How do you know it's good quality? I'll sit on the balcony for a few minutes. It's it's really beautiful. Um, I mean, yeah, baby. I'm excited for um, warmer weather. Although I don't look forward to allergy season, aka pollen season, but I am really excited about that warmer weather. It's so beautiful today just makes my heart sing yeah so I'm just gonna toss these bad boys on there I need a bigger pan in there for about 12 minutes that's how long it took to make it 
and I was thinking when I was putting it in there in my head I was like I'm gonna try and have the food prepped and in the oven by the time the air fryer finishes and I did it I really along the pro through the process I had forgot all about it and then when I just heard the air fryer go off I was like and I'm putting the food in the oven I was like I actually did it so that was like the easiest meal ever it took me literally 12 minutes to prepare and that's what I like easy simple <clears throat> I have to share this with y'all. I hope I don't, this don't make me look dumb. But as y'all know, I'm a first time mom. And so a lot of this stuff is new. Um, but what I learned today is, so these are the wipes that I use for Isla. And so when I first had Isla, like I would use overkill. Like I would use like six wipes um, for one uh, diaper change. And so I've been trying to work on um, getting that number down. I've, I've come a long way. Now I'm down to three. But recently I came down to just being able to do it in one if she pees and two if she poops. But I did not know like when I go and change her um, after she's peed, <clears throat> I try and only get one wipe because that's all I need. But Oh, really? Now it's going to do it since I'm recording. But usually it automatically um, dispenses to. Let me see if I can. I don't want to mess it up, but let me see. So usually. Oh, wow. So it's going to act crazy now that I'm recording. But all day, um, it's only been just automatically dispensing to. But anyways, I just wanted to share that. Because I thought that was so cool, but now that I'm recording, it wants to not act right. Dinner was so effortless. And I got some energy now. This is that dough that I made early February. It's just been sitting in the freezer, so I'm about to bake us some cookies. scared right now because my head is killing me and this is exactly how I felt prior to getting the flu like that night before it really started kicking in I had the worst headache and then the next morning I woke up and it was just history from there. And so, there's no way you can get the food back to back like that. I just really hope that this is just um, a regular headache because I can't. I'm about to take some Tylenol. And um, it's almost nine and Isla is awake, so I don't really know what's going on. Y'all pray for me because the last two weeks just has been a uphill battle. Um, yeah. Because we want to keep them. We've got to be willing to let them go. The same thing even goes for if you have a leader or a pastor and your pastors knew since we're growing up and now the lord is leading them across the country and in our mind we're like no 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 that's my best friend i want her to be right here with me oh 
we've got to be willing to let people go, whether it be our child, whether it be someone that's serving alongside us in ministry, whether it be whether it be our best friend. We've got to be willing to let them go and encourage them to follow Jesus. And John the Baptist did not argue or complain. Hakuna Matata ain't no peasant craze. It means no worries for the rest of your days.